Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Sheet Metal Only Practical. On this channel, you will find lot of video tutorials regarding design, development and manufacturing of sheet metal technology backed with practical experience. Myself Sandeep Suryavanshi, I am mechanical engineering professional having 20 years of working experience in engineering and manufacturing with companies like Bharat Forge and Tata Motors. Learning and knowledge sharing is my passion. I would like to thank you for watching this informative video. This video explains a brief history of sheet metal from ancient time to recent past. This is very basic information which is good to have. I am sure that you will like this video. Please share it with your friends and uh, give your comments which will help me to improve further. Also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. In today's video, we will learn some interesting facts about sheet metal history. Let me take you back to very ancient time around 5000 BC. Man learned to make use of fire, stone and metal for his survival. In those days, man learned to use very crude method to extract native metals. For some specific use, he also learned to make flat forms by hitting the metal by stone on an anvil. These flat metals were mainly used to make small tools, utensils and weapons. Let's quickly look at few developments after medieval time to renaissance time. Until medieval time, steel was obtained with a very simple process using primordial furnaces. This process was highly skilled and very labor intensive. So, by the start of 15th century, people ceased the usage of furnaces. In 1485, Leonardo da Vinci sketched a concept of rolling mill. In the beginning of 16th century, blast furnace process became most popular as it was twice faster than smelting. A German silversmith, Mark Schwab, invented a screw press to make coins in 1550. Da Vinci's rolling mill was finally developed in 1590, which has two heavy cylinders to roll different types of metals and this was a key milestone in the history of sheet metal. The screw press and rolling mill created a base for future stamping technology. A cold rolling mill was invented in Newcastle in 1682. In 1717, Abraham Darby first began producing cast iron using coke for the smelting process and met his goal to produce thin, durable and inexpensive cast iron. So friends, these key milestones affected production of good quality of iron at a faster rate and transformation from handwork to rolling of metals to get more uniform metal sheets. The major applications were weapons, jewelry, coins, foils and utensils. In last session, let us look at some key events happened during industrial revolutions. In the beginning of industrial revolution, high quality production of parts surged after the invention of assembly line. In 1770, hydraulic press was developed by Joseph Brahma. In 1783, Swiss engineer John Pierre Droz successfully perfected the sheet metal process for the simultaneous production of reverse and obverse of the coins. Inventions of aluminum and steam took place at the beginning of 19th century. A long piece of sheet metal with improved specifications was shown at the British Great Exhibition in London in 1851. And in 1857, Bessemer converter became the first inexpensive process that allows for the mass production of steel from cast iron. 
So friends, first industrial revolution witness the mass production of steel, use of steam, water and hydraulic power in machines and fundamental changes in the manufacturing processes. The second industrial revolution also known as technological revolution was a phase of rapid scientific discovery, standardization, mass production and industrialization. During this time the first blast furnace charger was patented by Veit Brown in 1885. In 1890, a German bicycle manufacturer began making parts for bicycles using metal stampings. In 1913, Ford started moving assembly line and use of stamping parts to replace die forging. The Bessemer process was replaced by basic oxygen process, resulted in high production rate, less labor, and steel with low nitrogen content. Sheet metal parts were mainly used in bridges, vintage cars, tin containers and so on. So friends, we have seen the milestones from smelting to basic oxygen furnace process and hammering of the metal to invention of rolling mill and press machines. This helped further growth in 20th century. So friends, this was an interesting history of sheet metal. I hope that you like the video and find it useful so please share as much as possible also comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon for next updates